<laughs> Hello and welcome to the best painted armies at Blood and Glory. Um, in the background, you can see the armies are um, lined up. There's some bit of, you know players voting already. Uh, and we're just going to have a quick tour of the armies and have a look at what's on show because there's some impressive sights here. And it's normally Gareth who does this sort of thing, so I thought I'd do a, a Gareth style selfie video and um, just to introduce it in, in his honour while he's not here on a Sunday. So uh, let's see what we've got on the table. So first up we have Ian Gilmore with his um, quest for the Great Moor. Um, it's quite a nice Ogre Kingdom's army this one. Lots of um, lovely conversions. Some interesting uh, green stuff work on some of the models as well. Firebelly Jester, I think there's, there's two of these in the army. And some questing knights riding stone horns as well. So, <laughs> so yeah, that's Ian Gilmore. Next up, we've got Byron Ord. Byron's um, from Element Games. So uh, painted this thing, I think in record time as well, it just appeared at an event or finish. With no, no work in progress posted online or anything, it was just kind of surprise done. So. Steve's taking a piss really, hasn't he? A whole lot of phoenixes in this one. One of my favourite bits is the <laughs> Mirkwood Rangers who's using the Scouts, which look really small compared to the other Games Workshop range. Obviously the Lord of the Rings models are quite a bit smaller. Okay, next up, so one of my favourite armies on the tournament scene this one is um, Mikey Newman, Dark Elves. Always a bit dark though. Um, <laughs> Old army, it's been around a while now, I've been around block this one has, but it usually adds something new. Some nice conversions again. I think he's played this one as high elves, dark elves and wood elves at some stage. So, a real multitasking army. Plenty of warlocks in the list as well, that's what we like to see. Okay, next up we've got Mr. Russ Veal. With his Scions of Pestilence. I will be shocked if this does not pick up hundreds of votes because it is a really, really nice army. Maggot Lord. Got the Nurgle Lord on a palanquin. Or I don't know if he's playing it on a disc, I'm not sure. Demonic Mount, even. There we go, Demonic Mount. We've got the new Blight Kings in there as well. <laughs> Uh, plague Toads pulling his chariots. <laughs> and even this this is one of my favourite editions. These are his Furies <laughs> using the Spirit Host models and some Plague Bear parts for the conversions. Very nice, very nice that one from Russ. Okay, next up, another regular on the tournament scene. <laughs> this is Dave Sweetin, Orcs and Goblins. <laughs> Theme terrain as well with this one. Yeah, very nice army. Oh, this is one of my favourite pieces in the army as well. This is Doom Diver. Good troll slinging a, slinging a goblin rocket. Okay, so over here we have Nick's. Empire ogres. Ogres seem to be a common, a common choice to um, make some conversions out of. Got the dragon ogres. 
converter of iron guts to use more fang. It's a nice butcher conversion. Bruiser BSB. I think he's playing this fella as a tyrant on a flying carpet. <laughs> Lots of Empire cannons in the Iron Blaster unit. Like I say, nice Empire themed Ogre army, complete with plenty of green stuff, frilly sleeves, feathery hats. Lovely. Okay, so next up, Graham Shirley, Orcs and Goblins. You might recognise some of these, particularly the trolls. From this year's Golden Demon, picked up thickest bronze at the Golden Demon, the Charles did. A very, very nice unit. Some lovely detail on the um, on the orcs and the black orcs. The giant's particularly tasty. Although the back, the lighting behind the giant is not doing me any favours with the video. Very nice. If you want to see more pictures of this online, you can just search for "painted by G" on any of the YouTube, Facebook, Twitter. Commission painting by Graham. Okay, next up, Alan Powell. Nice beastman army. <laughs> Big display board for this one as well. Okay, next up we've got John Blackmore. John and Dave Blackmore, actually. Side by side tables. These Frost Phoenix seem to be uh, a favourite among painters. They seem to be popping up in lots of the armies. Just uh, obviously a good model in the game. Lovely to paint. Nice big dragon rider. This bad boy fought against Nagash in round three. Got curb stomped. Nagash also killed one of the uh, Frost Phoenixes in combat as well. Okay. Dave Blackmore's Dark Elf Army. I bought a bloody new mic and then Gillen Jersey did over a corner. Very nice Pegasus Rider conversion. Execution unit. Some statue of cane in there. Very fitting with the cane release this weekend. A million pounds worth of wood chops. And a big, 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 massive tower as well to top it off. Just had in the back of the room some alternate models for Fiori's over here. Okay. So next up, Greg Dan. Keep an eye on me while I'm talking about his uh, well, they're the horse lords. You might have seen this one if you was at uh, was it Adepticon this year. No, South Coast. South Coast GT this year. <laughs> Should get Greg to talk about it, really. What we've got here, then, Greg? Um, you have 40 in total, you have 40 Marauder horsemen with flails and javelins, 25 hell striders. And then a Chaos Lord, a BSB, and two level two mages, all on boob worms. So, uh, and two units of hounds are the only thing that don't Vanguard or alike have. They're the, they're the things that panic off the whole yeah. army. Nothing panics in this stuff. army. Oh, whole army is immune to terror. You panic. I like the white armour. It's a big contrast to the, uh, the rest of the army. <laughs> Hold on, pal. Very nice. Okay, Wayne Kemp. <coughs> with a huge display board. 
Some lovely conversions in this, so let's get in close and um, we'll have a look. Clan Kemp. The nice big doorway behind. Walt Lightning Cannon. Made out of a, I think it's a corn effect under there somewhere. Lots of green stuff. This is a new addition to the army, I think, for Blood and Glory. Cauldron of a thousand poxes and a plague unit. Some of the nice old classic character models as well in here. That's ogres. It's a nice simple unit like this, still looks really effective, these has got runners. Nice use of the scatter as well I think, just posting it, putting it back here and there, very good. Um, Deathmaster snitch in there. <laughs> Kit Claw is that I think the model for? Can't see properly. But yeah, nice use of the rat ogres in the middle of the slave units too. Warlord on a war litter, converted out of a of a Skaven machine. And some plague sensor bears as well. Manhammer, I think they're calling it. Okay, so the final one. I think the one everyone's been talking about all weekend as well. Let's zoom out for this because it's quite a big one. Steve Wren, his mighty castle of doom. <laughs> I'll just walk around it for a bit, <laughs> show you some of the uh, it's got a little story on the back as well, see the light in there, let's go inside, <coughs> so witch shelf inside, all the insides painted on it up, behind the waterfall, water effect, Dark Elf Levers coming in. The Silver Helms rushing to defend the shoreline. And then... What's really cool about this is, let's get in close and I'll show you some of the pieces. So this Frost Phoenix here, this is his base. So. You can see the lines in the, I think it's the dreadstone blight he's used, and that base comes out of the castle. So in the game, the phoenixes are flying around with bits of castle on the base, which is really cool. The anointed's the same. We'll go around the back and look at the anointed. But you can see the cut all the way down the back, and all that is part of the base. So in game, he plays with bits of castle attached. He's got the law master at the top of the steps. Again, they're rushing to defend the shores from the incoming dark elves. And there's an assassin about to attack the bottom. We know. <laughs> Just uh, <coughs> had the secret bit pipped if you heard that. <laughs> um, Ball throw in the tower. So if we zoom in, look, you can see the shadow blade blended into the background, ready to kill the bolt thrower. There we go. They are the uh, best painted armies. Blue, I've not even looked at the infantry on the blue drop. Best painted armies. Blood and glory. So that's the end of the painting nomination video. There's some really cool armies there. Um, the final two rounds are now underway, as you can see, cracking off in the main hall. Um, so it'll be interesting to see how the results get counted. Steve Ren waving on the video log. In fact, actually, while, uh, while we've got Steve here, let's show you what I was talking about, about the way his bases break down for gaming. So, so these are the models that you saw on the castle. When they come out, 
Yeah. And the way they work and put together. And um, some more around here. Simon was taking tons of photos of Steve's army last night and now he's getting to play against it. <laughs> here we go, look. So that's the bolt thrower out the top of the tower as well. Um, this is the anointed. And we have the frosty as well. Um, well, pretty good. Good work, Steve. Cheers, mate.